I had to give you a 30 second pitch as to why people should watch the boys, it's probably because we're in the middle of a, middle of a global pandemic. Uh, <laughs> there is a lack of material out there. And uh, we're probably uh, one of the best bets for uh, top quality uh, punch in the face entertainment. And um, you'd be crazy not to. Okay, first of all, watch season one. Uh, and then second of all, it's just different from any other superhero show you've ever seen in your entire life. Um, if you're in for uh, a, 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 a subversion of the superhero genre, we have that. We uh, actually talk about real world issues. Surprise, surprise. And uh, on top of all of it, it, the show's darkly comedic and it's really, really messed up. And mm -hmm. that is just... I don't know. It's, it's a package that I absolutely love. If you want to see some amazing satire and some uh, real issues shown through the lens of superhero show are just the one to do it with. Uh, there's also good violence, a lot of, a lot of good action, uh, but it's also a bit sketchy. So, um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> some weird things with some dolphins. Yeah, exactly. There's some, <laughs> oh, man. There's some dolphins, some whales, some lobsters, a whole, whole whole marine gamut. So you're in for a ride. It's very original and unpredictable. And uh, come check out season two. The Boys is um, a really fun show that takes the piss out of superheroes. So if you're a little tired of superhero myth, uh, this is a great antidote. It shows that superheroes are would really just be entitled celebrity scumbags, um, you know. And then on top of that, it, it, it is a show that is really a satire of um, the moment we are living in right now. Um, so it has a lot of commentary, and um, and it has penises and boobs. So what more do you want? Oh, ha. Uh... Uh, if you want to see some fucked up shit with a lot of heart, The Boys is for you. Ba-ching! <laughs>